This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba Satellite L745 laptop, L745 with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace it. Uh, before we do anything, we need to remove the battery so we can work on the laptop safely. And the way we do that, there's two levers on either side of the battery on the bottom. We slide those levers out, and then we slide the battery out. Okay, now that the battery is removed, we can work on the laptop safely. In order to get to the screen, we need to remove the screen bezel, which is the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove four screws that are hiding behind some plastic covers. So that's what we'll do first. So let's go over the tools we're going to need to do the job. We have an electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the bit size. Then we also have a smaller PH0 bit just in case we have some smaller screws. We have a pair of metal tweezers to remove screws that are stuck, and an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade to remove the screw carts. And that's what we'll do first with this knife, is to remove the screw covers on all four screws. So what I have to do with the screw covers is put them right next to the screws, screw holes, so I won't misplace them later on. Okay, that's three. And that's four. So next, we're going to remove the four screws that are holding the screen bezel in place. For each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile for each step so that when you're putting the laptop back together, you don't mix up the screws and you know which screws go where. And that's three. And that's four. Alright. Alright, once the screws are out, we snap the screen bezel off. The way I like to do it is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and listen for snapping sounds. Now this one comes off fairly easily. You might have to go all the way around the top, but this one came off easily. So lift up the bezel on each side and keep going. And then once you're done, there's some hinge covers that sometimes get stuck. And what I can do is use my tweezers to lift up the hinge covers so I can lift up the whole screen bezel and end. All right, uh, this, for this type of screen, you have, it's mounted on some metal mounting brackets on the side of the screen. There's either two or three screws on each side. In this case, it's two screws. And sometimes it's hard to get to the bottom screw. So you need to tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly. And one trick that I like to use is loosen up the two screws at the bottom that are holding the metal mounting bracket and the hinge assembly to the back of the screen. And that allows us access to the screws on the bottom. And these two screws are the ones we have to remove to remove the screen. When you're doing this, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back so when you remove all the screws, the screen just doesn't fall forward on you. So that's two. Then we have three. and four. All right, right away 
uh, we want to tilt the screen forward, but right away we see that the webcam cable has some adhesive that's stuck to the back of the screen, so we need to lift up the webcam cable and lift it up here, but I don't like to remove the webcam cable connector, so that's uh, it's one less thing, but in this case we might have to. Alright, so let's remove the webcam connector. And what you do is you use your fingernails to pull out on the tabs on the side of the connector to slide it out, like so. Okay, once we do that, we can tilt the screen forward. And uh, what I see right away is that the video cable is routed through some plastic holders, so we want to re deroute the cable first so we have better access to the connector. Okay, once we do that, this type of screen only has one connector, which we'll remove. The first thing we want to do is remove the adhesive tape that's on the top of the connector. We'll pull it up, lift it up like so, and sometimes there's adhesive on the back of the video cable. We need to lift up the back of the video cable too, so that we can remove the connector. Okay, once we do that, lift up the adhesive from the front and the back, we slide the connector out. And there's some more adhesive that we need. Okay, we slide the connector out and the screen is free. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect it, when you, because that's the biggest source of errors that I see. When you reconnect it, you want to slide it back in, and you won't hear, but you'll feel two clicks when it's in all the way. And let's take a look what the connection looks like. You get a good focus. There we go. Okay, so this okay, here's a good focus. So the two sides of the connection, the seam, there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The connection is flush. So you want to make sure your connection looks like this. Pause the video right there and compare your connection to this connection. Make sure it looks the same. Okay, so once we figured it out, let's remove the screen again and take a look at the screen again. So, like so. All right, the screen part number is B one four zero X W zero one. When you search for your screen, you want to look for this number B one four zero X W zero one. Now, when you get your new screen in, most likely it will not be the same number, but it will be the exact same screen because there's five or six different vendors that make the exact same screen. Uh, you can also buy this screen from us from Screen Surgeons and. What you do is go to www.screensurgeons.com, click on buy a screen, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out, and you just give us the laptop model and your email, and we reply with the link to the right screen. What you get with us with Screen Surgeons is we give you free email technical support when you do the screen installation. And we also give you a compatibility guarantee. If the screen we ship you is not compatible, we'll send you a replacement at no charge. Okay, uh, when you do get your new screen in, connect it back up as I showed you. Mount it on the metal mounting brackets with the two screws on the side. Tighten the hinge screws, and this is very important. If you don't tighten them, you will you may damage your hinges. And then put the screen back in, snap on the screen bezel, and put in the four screws on the screen bezel and the screw covers, and you should be good to go. And uh, that should be it. Okay, uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panarikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.